So my previous lecture from chapter five, I talked about how to calculate the enthalpy of a reaction, delta H reaction, using a semi-complicated process. In this video, which I'm making as an addendum, that is an addition to my original chapter five lecture videos, I'll show you a much shorter and simpler way of doing the exact same thing. Here are the steps for the short way. One, look at the overall equation you're trying to get to. Two, use Appendix C from the back of our text to find the enthalpy values of formation, or delta HFs, for each component in the overall equation you're trying to get to. And three, calculate the overall enthalpy of reaction, delta H reaction, by using the, the following equation from our book. The overall enthalpy of reaction is equal to the sum of the individual enthalpies of formation for the products minus the sum of the individual enthalpies of formation of the reactants. Each of these individual components we multiply by their respective coefficients. Now if you don't understand all this, don't worry. I'll show you how to do it now. So here are the same examples that I just showed you earlier using the long way, now done using the easy way. First example. Two moles of SO2 gas combining with one mole of O2 gas to form two moles of SO3 gas. How in the world do we do this using the short way? Well, we remember the equation that I showed before, of course, that the overall enthalpy for this reaction is equal to the sum of the individual enthalpy of formation of the product minus the sum of the individual enthalpies of formation of the reactants each multiplied by their respective coefficients n and m. So here's what that looks like. As I examine this equation, I'll notice that SO3 gas, my product, in the appendix has a delta H of formation of negative 395.2 kilojoules per mole. I also note that SO2, one of my reactants, has a delta H of formation of negative 296.9 kilojoules per mole. Now O2 gas, because it's in its elemental state, has a delta H of formation of zero. So keep these two numbers in mind as we move on to the next slide. To calculate the overall enthalpy of this reaction, the shorthand way, all I have to do is take the enthalpies of formation of my products, and subtract from them the enthalpies of formation of my reactants. Remember, in the appendix picture that I just showed you, the enthalpy of formation of SO3, my product, was negative 395.2. Now, because there is a 2 coefficient in front of the SO3, I have to multiply this by 2. That's what this n right here represents. This is the overall enthalpy of formation of my product. I now subtract from it the enthalpy of formation of my reactants. I just showed in the previous slide that the enthalpy of formation of SO2 is negative 296.9. I have to multiply that by 2 because there is a 2 coefficient in front of the SO2. So I subtract this overall value in the enthalpy of formation of my reactants from my enthalpy of formation of my products. The final answer ends up being negative 196.6 kilojoules. Now compare this final answer to the one that we obtained using the long way. You'll see that it's exactly the same. So here's this equation. How in the world do I calculate the overall enthalpy of this reaction using the short way? Once again, I remember this equation from our book. I have to calculate out the overall enthalpies of formations of my products and then subtract from them the overall enthalpies of formation of my reactants. Here's the table from our book. You'll note that the overall enthalpy of formation of my product, H2O gas, is negative 241.82 kilojoules per mole. Do not get that confused with the enthalpy of formation of H2O liquid, which is negative 285.83 kilojoules per mole, because those two things are different. N2 gas, that is nitrogen gas, is in its elemental state, so its enthalpy of formation is zero. The same thing can be said of this reactant H2, or hydrogen gas. So all I need to do now is determine the overall enthalpy of formation of N2O4 gas. We can also obtain that from Appendix 3. 
as you'll note looking down here, the enthalpy of formation of N2O4 gas is positive 9.66 kilojoules per mole. Now I just throw everything into the equation. I'll begin with the enthalpies of formation of my products, that is, gaseous water, which is negative 241.82. I, of course, have to multiply this by a 4 because there is a 4 coefficient in front of the H2O in the balanced chemical equation. I now subtract from it the overall enthalpies of formation of my reactants. The enthalpy of formation of H2 is 0. The enthalpy of formation of N2O4, as we just looked up, is positive 9.66. I have to multiply that by 1 because there is a 1 coefficient in front of the N2O4 in the balanced chemical equation. So I'm subtracting the combined enthalpies of formation of my reactants from the combined enthalpies of formation of my products. You'll see that when I throw that into my calculator, the final answer comes out as being negative 976.94 kilojoules. You'll note that this number is the same as the one we calculated using the long way. Well, I hope that helps you guys out being able to calculate these in a much more easy and efficient fashion. Until next time, have an enjoyable rest of your day.